The missing link between science and scripture. Imagine what would happen if someone discovered a cause and effect linkage between an event that is described in science with an event that is described in scripture and theology. Uncovering even the possibility of such a missing link could cause a spiritual awakening and rebirth. In this short paper, we're going to propose such a linkage. We believe that an idea like this has never been proposed because it is not possible within the two most common worldviews. The first is held by materialists who do not believe in the existence of God, angels, or anything that is not purely physical. The second is held by those who believe in God, but see physical reality and non-physical reality as two distinct realms. Wouldn't one universe existing in different states make more sense? The part we see is built from fields of energy and particles that really exist but are not purely physical, and it's time to admit that. Scientists have developed a very good description of the universe from just after the moment of its creation about 13.8 billion years ago through its evolution up to the present time. The beginning is best described as a highly ordered, non-physical state where even the laws of physics weren't fully formed. The big open question from science is, where did all this energy come from? One of the greatest discoveries of modern science is change of state, Einstein's most famous equation, which relates pure energy to mass or matter, is the definitive and clearest example. The idea of change of state has not been adequately applied in philosophy and theology, but when it is, it produces a new worldview with many new possibilities. According to scripture and theology, God created the angels in heaven with free will, and some of them sinned against God. The fallen angels were darkened, that is, lost supernatural gifts of grace, knowledge, and power or energy, and were thrown out of heaven. Big open question from theology is, where did all of their energy go? The fallen angel model, FAM, is the idea that these two open questions can be resolved by using the concept of change of state to link the two events. FAM is consistent with science. If the energy of the Big Bang came from a supernatural state with God, it would be highly ordered and would look as if it came from nothing because we can't detect anything that is purely non-physical. FAM is also consistent with scripture and theology. With FAM, God is all good and all he creates is good. The whole resulting evolving, quote, physical universe is in a fallen state from the beginning. Note that FAM retains the concept of original sin, but does so in a way that is completely consistent with evolution that is not possible within either of the current worldviews. We realize that these ideas are only a beginning, but they represent a paradigm shift. Here's a quote. The really positive contributions here deserve commentary and further development. The quote is from Sister Carla May Streeter, OP Professor Emerita at the Aquinas Institute of Theology. For more information on our books, The Fallen Angel Model, and How Is God Involved in Evolution, visit the publisher's website, enroutebooksandmedia.com.